Right now we have an overview about all the basic features. We have Laravel Passport installed. We have installed the package, JSON API auth. We have register user, login, logout, and some customizations on login and register features. Right now, we are going deeper in more advanced features. We are going to make an overview about forgot password and reset password because those features work together. Forgot password feature sends an email with a link to some reset password form and reset password endpoint resets the password. So we are going to make a review of these features together. Right now, I have in the database a user that is John Doe with an email of John at Doe. So we can authenticate with these credentials, password, and the email. So if a user forgot the password, he would need to use some endpoint API slash forgot password. It's is this endpoint. So for this example, I have to use the project name that test slash API slash forgot password as this endpoint. The method is post and I will send in form data format the email with the email of the user that is John Doe. Okay, in order to make this feature works, I need um, to use a SMTP service like Mailtrap or Mailhug. There are a lot more and Mailtrap is very popular and very used and it provides a, a development inbox for, for, for free. So uh, it works nice. With Laravel, you can only, you only need to select Laravel and grab the credentials get these credentials and go to the .env file and change from encryptation to mailer the values and add uh, a testing mail that in this case this mail is not real it's just for example okay at this point I have all ready to work with Mailtrap it's, re it's very simple and easy to use and we have our endpoint we have the form data field uh, the email and the uh, email of John Doe. So I will send the request and I will get a response to check your email. So if I go to the email, I will get a notification with a URL that is your frontend app.any and it has the query string of the token and it has the query string of the email to grab these values. Um, what is the idea of this? You can uh, override the URL for your front-end project because the expected behavior is that uh, it redirects to a reset form, a reset password form, but in a front-end application that is totally separated from the backend server. So I have uh, an example in reset password email section of how uh, a front-end developer can uh, get these values and work with the window location and get the URL params and fill the inputs and the user will only need to add uh, the new password and uh, password confirmation to reset the password. So forget password, send the email right now, reset password feature will reset the new password. So this is the endpoint slash API slash reset password. We could see it in this table, reset password API, reset password. And we are going to this endpoint, the name of the application that test slash API slash reset password. In the body, we need to add all these uh, inputs. All these fields uh, are required in Laravel UI or Laravel Breeze, so it works pretty much the same. 
you have this value from the URL that is the the email and the token so the user will only need to fill the new password in this example I use new password and to login it logins with the old password string. The new string is new password and the confirmation is new password. Uh, this request has some validations, like for example, the email is required and needs to be a valid email. You can see all these validations in the form request uh, that use the controller. So I will go and grab the token because at this moment I don't have uh, a front-end application but um, just to show you that it could customize the URL I will go to the config file in JSON API of and I will change this to new test front-end app I will send another forgot password request it sends an email and Right now I have this new URL, new test fronted app that is different from the default one that is your fronted app, new test. So it works. You can customize the URL of your front-end project in the config and it will work. I will grab the token because uh, right now I don't have any application uh, in the front-end to send a request. So I grab the token, I will use the the new password endpoint that is a slash API a slash reset password. I will fill the token and I have all these fields that are required and I will send a request. Password is updated and right now I can log in with a new password. If I use the old password, I will get an error with credentials that does not match. But if I use the new password and send a request, I can log in successfully. So this feature is working and you can use it and you don't need to write any code.